Welcome back to Holistic Developer. I'm Anna, hoping that you're having a wonderful time. Today, I'll be answering some of the questions that you addressed to me in the comment sections in the previous video. And here are the questions that will be answered in this video. First, I will be addressing what kind of career path can you expect as a software developer? What dev roles are available in the industry? Followed by what are the top technologies that are paid currently in the world? Followed by what industries can you work as a software developer? Then what are the salaries that you can expect as those developers roles that we addressed earlier? And we will look at that at US and globally. And at the end, we'll conclude with how much time does a developer actually spend at work? because there is a myth that at least 60 hours a developer has to spend at work. So that's what we will be concluding with. I initially, when I was thinking about this topic, I was like, okay, I'll share my experience because at my current job, I've been doing different roles throughout my career. And I was like, yeah, but how many people can relate to that? That is so particular to my case, to my uh, location, geographic location, company, and so on. So I decided to take a step back and kind of from a higher level to provide the information and answer the questions that are there currently. And to do that, I decided to find this information in the Stack Overflow survey that they are doing. So the majority of the answers that you will hear today will be from Stack Overflow survey 2019. Okay, so let's address the first question. What career path as a software developer can you expect? And it, simply put, there are two branches that you can take. You can take the path of continuing on the technology track or derailing and going into management. It's completely up to you which one do you want. Do you want to be um, a principal, an architect, or stay and do what you like to be a specialized developer and continue on that track or you can move to the track of software engineering manager which is also it has technology aspects in the in the role but at the same time it's more focused on onboarding new people hiring firing promoting evaluating training and so much more so here are two tracks that you can go with but if we are to look in stack overflow what are their available dev roles, here what you what you will see. There are full stack, back end, front end, no, no surprises there at all. Desktop or enterprise application, which currently I am in this category. Mobile development, administrators, database administrators, designers, system administrator, DevOps specialist, embedded application or devices, data scientist or machine learning application specialist, QA, data or business analyst, academic researchers, um, engineer data, developer of games and graphics, engineering manager, product manager, engineering site re reliability, I'm not pronouncing that probably correctly, senior executive, and marketing or, or sales professionals. So as you can see, there are multiple paths they can go with. And from this path, also there are multiple languages that you can choose. You can be a front end developer using different technologies. So let's look at what are the current most paying technology of 2019. Now we'll be looking at top paying technology globally, and then we'll look at top technology paying um, in US. And I will focus on the top five, let's say. First one is Clojure at $90,000 a year, followed by F Sharp, $80,000 a year, followed by Go, $80,000, then Scala, $78,000, Elixir, $76,000, Ruby, $75,000. And if we were to scroll to the bottom and look at the bottom three, you can see assembly 52K there, C 52K and Java 52K. Let's look now what are the top hang technology at US level. So the top of the list is Scala at $143,000, 
followed by closure at $139,000. Then we have go at $1,036, followed by Erling at $135,000, Objective C at $132,000. And if we were to scroll down and see what is at the bottom of the list, bottom three are R at $108,000. Then we have C Sharp at $105,000. And the last one is HTML CSS at $105,000. And to look at this, this is a median taken from about 15,000 people who answered. Now you might be wondering, okay, what is the industry that I can be working in? So as a developer, you can work in any of the following industries. You can be in general software development, information technology, financial and banking. You can be working in a software as a service development, web development or design, consulting, data analy analytics, healthcare and social services, media advertising, publishing or entertainment, retail or e-commerce, internet, education and training, manufacturer, which currently I am in manufacturing, cloud-based solution or services, government or public administration, research, academic or scientific, telecommunication, transportation, energy or utilities, security, marketing, travel, nonprofit, and real estate. Okay, we address the question of what developer types are there, what are the top paying technologies, and also what kind of industry can you work on. Next, I would like to answer what kind of salary can expect by developer type. And first, we'll look at the global level, and then we'll look at US. Top salary by developer type globally is topped by engineering manager at $95,000, then is site reliability at $85,000, DevOps at $71,000, engineering data at $66,000, and really bottom of the list, we can see that game or graphic is, is at $48,000, mobile development $45,000, academic researcher is $38,000. And about 54,000 people responded this, and these are United States dollars. Let's look what are the salaries for developers in United States. So the top of the list is engineering manager at $152,000. Engineering site reliability $140,000. DevOps specialist, you can expect to be $122,000. Data scientist or machine learning specialist is $120,000. Data engineering, $120,000. Developer backend, $116,000. Mobile development in the US, it's about $112,000. Embedded application or devices, it's $111,000. And let's look at the full stack. An educator scientist, they have $110,000. Database administrators and system administrators, it's $105,000. Front-end game development, it's $103,000. And data or business analyst is $100, not $100, $100,000. Developer test, um, it's at 99, designer 98, and academic researcher is about $95,000. And about 15,000 people answered this, and it's again in US dollars. Now that we know the salary that you can expect, let's see how much time actually those people spend at work. So I believe they spend a lot of time or not so much. We'll see in just a moment. So let's look at how much time it's spent usually a week at work based on the developer type. And then we will look at how much time developers spend by country at work. So at the top of the list, senior executive VPs spend about 47.7 hours at work. Product manager, about 44.8. Engineering manager, 44.5. System administrator, 43.8. DevOps specialist, 43.3. Designer, 43.3. Database administrator, it's the same. And the least time spent at work it looks like it's the game or graphic developers, they spend about 41.6 hours. So there are more hours that you can see. I'll link the 
survey in the description below so you can look at all of them but let's look now at how much time it's spent by country how much developers spent in Poland in a week it's about 44.6 hours so they are the most uh, the most hard-working people according to the survey India at 44.2 United States 42.1 France 40.9 Russian Federation 40.6, Brazil 40.2, Germany and Canada they are 40.2. Did I say Brazil 40.4? Australia 40.1, United Kingdom 39.6, and Netherlands are 38.1. So here you have it. Now you know what are the potential career paths for software developers, what kind of developer roles are available there. You also know what are the top paying technology currently um, in, in the industry. Also, what kind of industry can you go and work as a software developer? Then you saw how many hours developers spend and also how, what is the salary that they get by, by uh, the role that they have. Now that you have all of this information, you can have all of the information you need to take an informative decision and knowledgeable decision based on which path you want to go, what career path you want to follow and so on. So hopefully you found this video very informative, you found it useful. If you find it so, feel free to click the like button. I'm curious to hear what role was the most appealing to you from the list that you saw today so feel free to leave it in the comment below and as always i'm wishing you a happy engineering and see you next time bye bye